this massive box is quite a large handbag. This is a brand I have several bags from that I love, but this is a leather that I don't have from them yet and a style I don't have from them, and a color I don't have from them. It's a different bag than any of the other bags I have from them, is my point. So stay tuned, we'll open this up and do all the usual stuff. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage, where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Now let's get into this giant box, shall we? I think I've opened it upside down, or maybe it was just put into the box upside down. It is from Teddy Blake. Oh, and I do have a discount code for Teddy Blake, so make sure that if you wanna go check out their website and see what they have, use my link below and then use that discount code to make sure you get a bag a little bit cheaper. This is a bag that I have kind of avoided getting from them because when you look at videos of Teddy Blake online, designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather. They're out of New York, but the bags are made in Italy, which is exquisite. Tissue paper, and the bag is very well wrapped in here. I'm gonna put the box down. Great box to reuse. I have all of my boxes and keep things in them. So I have avoided getting this particular bag because when you look on YouTube at videos for Teddy Blake, a whole bunch of them are of this bag. So I've been showing you different ones that there aren't so many videos on, like the Bella in the 12 inch in the stamped Croco print in black. Love this bag. The green Bella in I think the nine inch, also in that mock croc. Love this bag even more. And the Kiara in this light blue color, also in mock croc. Those are my Teddy Blake bags. They are all in the mock croc. The one I'm about to open is not. Love this bag as well. Very unique opening on it. I'll link the videos on these other bags below in case you want to check those out. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that I work with Teddy Blake, so they send me these bags. I think I get about one a year. And I choose what I want, and if I'm not happy with anything about it, I've been able to send them back and get a replacement. Like on that blue bag, I originally ordered a, I think it was called a nude pink and the color wasn't quite what I was expecting, so I switched it up for the blue. Much happier with that one. But I've been wanting to try this leather and this bag, so let's get it open and see what's in here. And I know a lot of people are skeptical, as you should be, when you see a YouTuber who's showing you something that's been sent to them for free, or a sponsored video. Here's the dust bag. I just want to assure you that anytime I show you something that has been sent to me or that I'm paid to show you, that it is always an honest review. And I pick things that I like from the brand. This one looks really nice. Let's get it out of the bag. I mean, first glance, we'll see. All right, this is the Teddy Blake GG bag. This is the 13 inch. It comes in a 15 and also a smaller, I wanna say maybe a 10 inch. And it comes in two different leathers. One is, I believe, Palmolato. And I wanna say that that leather is more of an unnatural texture, like striations, subtle, but that's how I'd describe it. This is called the Stampato, and this is the leather that I wanted to try. Let me give you a close up. So this is more of that natural grain leather. Now it definitely has a finish on it like most leathers do to help protect it and to give it a color. I had a lot of trouble. I knew that I wanted to get the GG bag in the Stampato leather but I had a lot of trouble deciding on which color to get. I was going back and forth between a green that they had and a really light gray. And then this is dark taupe. That's what I settled on. And it's really beautiful. It's definitely more of a brown than a gray tone. And I decided on this one because I feel like I would use it the most. What I did, this is a little tip for you. If you're trying to decide on the color of a bag, take screenshots on your phone or your computer of the different colors that you're looking at and then hold those screenshots, hold your device up to your wardrobe in your closet or wherever your wardrobe is. And that way it helps you determine 
which of those colors you're deciding between will go best with the most of your outfits. And for me, it was definitely the taupe. And then I got this size, the 13 inch, because I'm thinking I can probably fit my laptop in here. We'll see that in a minute. And since I was thinking about that, thinking it's more of like a work bag situation where I can take my computer out in this and my notebooks and go sit at a cafe and get some work done. This color really goes the best with the most pieces in my wardrobe. So I'm going to give you a spin. We'll take a look at the outside and inside and some details on these on this bag. We'll do a couple of what fits things, some mod shots, measurements, and all that usual stuff. Let's get going. Oh, and another reason that I wanted this bag is I've been really back into my twillies lately and I wanted to get a bag that allows me to wrap a twilly around the handles. And this also, that's another thing I was checking with the colors and trying to decide is I got out all my twillies and I found that this color went best with all my twillies too. Spin first. So here is the front and the stampato leather seems to be more supple compared to the palmolato, which is a little more structured, at least according to the photos that I saw. There is the back. The other side. That was another reason that I wanted this leather rather than the Palmolato. I just thought that was really pretty. So if you're ordering one of these, be really careful which kind of leather you're getting. There's the bottom. Some feet would be nice, but it's also a bag that you'd be able to wipe down easily because of that colored coating on it. The only branding on the outside of the bag is right here. It says Teddy Blake, New York stamped in gold. So you've got gold hardware. And then here we just pull these little straps up to release those flaps on the bag and then stretch that out and we'll take a look at the inside comes with a shoulder strap we'll look at that in a minute okay i got this unstuffed and i'm going to show you something on the inside of the bag that this is what i love about the bella bags and now about this gg bag and to me this is a marker of quality some people would disagree that because they well it's all about the interior of the bag some people like a lined bag i prefer if i have a leather bag i prefer the suede on the inside just the other side of the leather i find that extra luxurious and that's what we have in the gg stampato so look at that that is so beautiful I love that so much. Gorgeous. And like I said, the Bella bags have that. The Kiara does not. It has more of a microfiber lining. So no pocket on that front side, but here on the back, you have to get under the flap to get to it. But on the back, there is this zippered pocket. You just unzip that really easily. It says Teddy Blake, New York stamped on the leather there. And then inside here that you have a fabric lining. So that would easily fit a small wallet, potentially your phone, depending on the size. It would fit my phone. I have an iPhone 10, but I don't know if it would fit a larger phone where the plus size is. This nice little leather zipper pull makes it really easy to get hold of that zipper to zip and unzip it. And let me show you a couple things about these straps that are really interesting. So on the back of the bag, a lot of times when you see a bag that has these little straps, this piece is usually sewn down to the back of the bag. This isn't, it's actually attached with a snap so that when you go to open the bag, it allows you to open it a little farther than you would otherwise. And then on the front, you don't have this piece of leather just hanging down, which can look weird sometimes. Some people don't like that look, but it has this metal piece on the end that stops it from going through. And then it has the snap on the back that stops it from going through that way. So that's more of a clean design, I think, than some of the other designs I've seen like that. I also like that these chaps are squared off. Also on the interior of the bag, I told you there's a crossbody strap. So here's where you would attach it. And thank goodness it is in the center instead of diagonally like some other brands do. But what's unusual about this that I've never seen anybody do before, I'm trying to get it where you can see it well, you see that little piece of leather that it's attached to? It's not sewn onto the inside of the bag. It's just a piece of leather with a D-ring that goes through that leather strap. So you could potentially remove that leather strap completely if you want the bag to just be open, but know that if you do that, that you will lose the ability to wear the bag with the shoulder strap. And as I'm holding this empty, because it is this really supple leather, if I just put my hand on the bottom and put the weight of the bag on there, it starts sagging a little bit. There have been bags in the past that I've cut open on this channel before, and I know there's another channel that cuts open bags all the time. That's what they do. And sometimes you'll see that there are pieces inside that are heavy paper, cardboard, cardstock, plastic that help give the bag structure. 
I feel like, and I'm not cutting this open, but I feel like this doesn't have that. It's just a nice thick leather. And to me, that makes it more luxurious too. So I, I love that that is a little bit smushy. It's not collapsing on you. It still has structure, but it's not like, it's not boxy. It's a really nice design and it appears to be very well made. Here's the shoulder strap. There's the hardware on it. It has six adjustments and it's the kind with the little balls where you have to put the leather over those, which some of you know is my least favorite design for adjusting a strap because some of them can be really difficult to do. This one isn't too bad, okay? This is the first time I'm doing this on this bag. It also has this little strap keeper and then it has the moving strap keeper on the other end to keep the end secure so it's not flapping around on you. There are three little metal balls on here. There's one under here that's a little hard to see. If you tried adjusting this to the very longest length where the last hole here is on the last ball piece, then this end of the strap would come out of this strap keeper and I don't think it would be that secure. So what I'm going to do is make it to where two of the balls are attached on the strap there and one isn't. And I'm gonna call this the longest length. So let's do some odd shots. I can put the bag over the crook of my arm like this. I have kind of a thick sweater on, but I can still get it up there and it would look like that. Very nice. I could also, of course, hand hold the bag down to my side where you can't see it or up here where you can. With the strap on that longest length, I can wear it cross body, which is amazing. For the last while, that has been my favorite way to wear bags because it allows me to be hands free and I don't have to worry about the bag. So it looks like that. I love that this goes crossbody. And then on the very shortest length, I can wear it on my shoulder and it falls at a great place there. My hand can reach the bottom of the bag. I can put my hand on the strap here so it's secure. I could even grab the handles if I feel like I need a little extra security. Though of course, with a bag like this, if you really need extra security, you can just close up the flaps and your bag is gonna be secure. But most people that wear this style of bag, I think just leave them open. That's what I plan to do with it. I think that's great. For me, the strap length is perfect for both ways I would wear it. Dimensions on this bag. I measured it at 13 and a quarter inches, so it's a little bit over 13. 10 inches high and then five inches deep across the base. As far as weight, this is a full leather bag, so it's not the lightest bag you'll ever use, but I also don't find it heavy. I have other bags that are also full leather that are very similar size to this, and some of those are quite a lot heavier than this is. And it's so helpful that it has that crossbody or shoulder strap, because I know if I'm hand holding a bag like this for very long, once I have stuff in it, like especially if I put my computer in this, it can get a lot heavier. And having a strap to wear on your shoulder helps so much with your comfort level. Here's my MacBook Air 13 inch. I think this is going to fit, and it does perfectly. It has a very thin case on it. That would be so easy to carry a computer in there. It got a lot heavier because the computer's heavy, but there you go. That's absolutely perfect. And then I can put notebooks and all kinds of other things in there. And this is my iPad Pro. It's about the same size as that 13 inch MacBook and it also fits perfectly. So that is the Teddy Blake GG 13 inch in the Stampato leather. Remember to pay attention to the leather if you're looking at these. I'm very happy with this one. I think this one is on par with the Bella bags, which have been my favorite for years at Teddy Blake. So I'm really glad I finally went ahead and got one of these too. I think it's gonna get a lot of use, especially since I can also put a Twilly on it. Remember to check the description box below for my discount code so you can get your bag a little cheaper. Beautiful, beautiful bags at great prices. I highly recommend this one and the Bella bag, and I also love my Kiara. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.